With static testing complete, it's out onto the main track for acceptance trials. Australian train designers have no dedicated test track, so they have the unenviable task of carrying out their final tests and adjustments on the customer's main line, with the customer and public watching over their shoulders. But the XPT came through with flying colours, with the test results fully meeting the customer's expectations. The special suspension provided the best ride yet on New South Wales tracks. The passenger cars provide a new level of comfort. Quiet, cool and glare-free, yet still providing an uninterrupted view of the passing countryside. Every detail had been closely studied to provide a perfect combination of strength, weight reduction and passenger comfort. Passenger cars are constructed entirely of stainless steel, with the exception of the bolster headstock units. The close centres of the U-beam cross members provide underfloor strength and rigidity without the weight of the traditional carbon steel frames. All pipes and conduits are fitted under the floor before the frame is inverted and the wall frames and stainless steel skin are fitted. The vehicles are 24.2 metres in length, the longest such saloon-type coaches in New South Wales. The walls and roof are both prefabricated, with the skin spot-welded to the frames. Thanks to the inherent strength of the stainless steel combined with the light weight, they are then simply lifted into position and welded in place. This modular technique, used throughout the XPT, not only allowed each section to work independently without interruption, it also guaranteed close tolerances through the use of permanent jigs. All materials used throughout the train are fire retardant. Even the insulation in the body cavities, carpet and seat covers. The complete insulation of the shell performs a dual role, not only aiding the air conditioning, but also dampening the sound from the track. Each car has its own air conditioning unit, a twin split system with two evaporators in the ceiling and two compressor condenser units on the frame under the floor. Even if one unit was to fail, it wouldn't mean the complete loss of air conditioning in the car. All cars are basically identical, again following the modular concept. Only the interior fittings and layouts vary according to their function. Originally, the XPT had been designed as a two-class train, but later the customer changed the order to single class. Because of the common frame and shell, this didn't present too many difficulties, and ComEng can still produce alternative cars from the original drawings if required. All luggage racks, internal linings and lighting units are in two metre modules, matching the window spacings. Fibreglass is used extensively throughout the car for a bright, smooth outline and ease of cleaning. The XPT seat design is new to Australia and allows the car capacity to be increased from 60 to 70 passengers without loss of legroom. The automatic doors are activated by pressure sensitive pads under the floor covering. The guard's compartment is fully equipped with toilet and galley facilities and a retractable mirror allows him to view the full length of the train. Hello, Dave. Yeah. Uh, I've come through the train now and uh, I've got the train. The intercom can also be used as a public address system, broadcasting to all cars at the touch of a button. In April 1982, the first paying passengers sampled the XPT between Sydney and Dubbo, 400 kilometres to the west. Since then, as passengers responded and more train sets were completed, daily services were extended to the main northern and southern lines. The XPT was intended as an alternative to air travel on medium to long distance routes. 
the general cruising speed of 160 kilometers an hour and the fast acceleration mean that passengers now have a day train, whereas before they had to choose between an overnight sleeper or air travel. Passenger comfort, safety, reliability and a high cruising speed have all contributed to the success of the XPT. But it was the foresight, design expertise and construction techniques of Commonwealth Engineering that made this dream a reality.